Over the past few months, Belizeans have endured a spike in the cost of fruits and vegetables. This increase in price was due, in part, to the climate-related damages farmers have been struggling to manage. Now, with the help of the National Meteorological Service, farmers will be able to better monitor weather conditions and plan accordingly to preserve their stock. Today, an array of equipment was donated to the NMS by the Ministry of Economic Development for this purpose. Chief Meteorologist Ronald Gordon explains this strategy. In this particular case for 20 weather stations across the country, we have a network of over 80 weather stations, um, but these are targeted to a certain specific community under the RRB project. So what that will do, it will enhance the capability of these stations to monitor what we call agromet variables. Those are variables that are important for the agricultural sector, including rainfall, of course, temperature, humidity. They want to know the soil moisture and the soil temperature. And just to name a few, you know, once you have that information, farmers will be able to plan better and be able to know what type of weather conditions are occurring in their areas. According to acting CEO of the Ministry of Economic Development, Carlos Paul, this project was put together with the objective of addressing food insecurity. By assisting farmers with preserving their produce, the public will have access to more food at lower prices. So in, in, in that thinking, the government decided to put together a, a project that will help us with, with, with that security, addressing the farmers' need, addressing the needs of farmers to be able to remove their products from their um, location to, to the market. So this project encompasses that rehabilitation of road, assistance to farmers for them to protect their products, provide them with refrigerators and other outputs that will be able for them to store their products because we have seen how much farmers have lost in products. There's a lot of losses when they don't have the proper equipment or the proper tools for them to build to have their products and then move it to the market for it to be sold. The Met Service will also be launching a weather app meant to offer real-time data for farmers to track. They will also be able to assess for other risks, such as pesticides and potential tropical systems. If we look at the figures right now, especially the SIB reports came out for the month of June that the price of special fruits and vegetables was uh, very well substanti substantially higher than last year, June. Um, so there are many causes for that as well. But the type of um, services that the service offers is to offer information um, to the farmers so they can be more informed to plan when it's time to plant, um, you know, when, when is the best time to plant, when is not the best time to, 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 uh, to plant, especially during dry season. But also we're talking about efficiency in terms of production and of course in any way to become more efficient and reducing costs because you know it, it, the, the agriculture is always something that is high risk. You have all the different risk factors coming in, and not only weather but pests and, pests and all of these things. So this is what the med service is offering today, especially geared to the rural farmers. Brittany Gordon for News 5.